If I can do it, you can do it. We'll start with toe raises. Keep your feet flat on the ground and raise your toes. Just the toes up and down, up and down. The toes leave the floor and come back to the floor. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Lift those toes up. You just keep standing as you are and you lift those toes and put them back down to the floor. Now only with your right foot. Lean your right foot more on the inside edge and lift the toes and let the toes back to the floor. And then lean your right foot more to the outside edge and lift the toes and put them back on the floor. And then lean on your left foot and lift the toes of your left foot and lean more on the inside edge of your left foot. Lift the toes and bring them back down to the floor. And then lean more on the outside edge of your left foot and keep lifting your toes. Lift the toes and put them back down on the floor. And now both feet together. Put your feet into a better place. If you find uh, my feet should be closer together, then do that. If you find your feet should be further apart, do that and keep lifting and lowering your toes. Next exercise, TBL toe raises. So you lift your toes and your forefoot. Focus on your right foot. Tap your foot on the floor. Your heel stays on the floor. Your legs are more or less straight. You lift your toes, you lift your forefoot and tap the forefoot on the floor. Tap the forefoot on the floor. And then over to your left foot, lift the toes and the forefoot of your left foot. Your left heel keeps standing, your left leg is straight. You tap your left foot on the floor. Tap it, tap it, so I can hear it. Tap it, tap it. And then left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. And then change directions of your right foot. Point the toes more to the outside or more to the inside. And then the left foot, point the toes of your left foot more to the outside or more to the inside. And keep tapping, keep tapping, keep tapping. And on to the next exercise. Heel raises, come up onto the balls of your toes. Lift your heels from the floor. Heels off the floor and back again. 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 Then keep your feet together. Stand your feet close together and come up and down and up and down and up and down and keep going. Now put your feet further apart each other, almost shoulder width and keep going. Now lean more on your right foot and lean more on your right big toe and then more on your second toe of your right foot and the third toe and the fourth toe and the fifth toe. And then again on the fourth toe when you come up and the third toe and the second toe and the big toe and then lean over onto your left leg, the big toe, the second toe, the third toe, the fourth toe, the fifth toe and all the way back the fourth toe, the third toe, the second toe, the first toe and just a few more, three, two, one, all right. And swiftly on to the next exercise, assisted kneel downs. Stand with your left foot in front, the right foot a little bit in the back and start to kneel down as far as it's comfortable and come back up again. Kneel down, your left foot stays flat on the floor while your right foot, the toes may bend, the right heel can come up from the floor. So kneel down and come up, kneel down and come up or slowly as much as it's comfortable and easily possible. Go down and come up, go down and come up. And if it's only one during the whole minute, it's still okay as long as you're doing the exercise. Down and up and then change over your legs. Right foot in front, left foot in the back and lean on your knees if you have to. Lean on the table if you have to. Just come down, down, down. Drive your left knee closer to the floor, closer to the floor. 
and back up again. Left knee closer to the floor, closer to the floor and back up again. And on to the next exercise, knee downs without assistance. Your hands are free, left foot in front of the right foot and kneel down, kneel down as far as it's possible, as far as it's comfortable, maybe until your right knee touches the floor and then come back up again and down again. Drive your knees forwards when you kneel down. Knees go forwards and down. Knees go forwards, down and up and change over your legs, right foot in front, Left foot in the back, kneel down and come up, kneel down and come up, kneel down and come up and maybe you want to take a step and a step and a step and a step and twist your shoulders when you take a step, twist your shoulders when you take a step, up and down and up and down, up and down and up. And on to the next exercise, kneel downs with a weight. <laughs> Grab something that has some weight and continue with going down and coming up and going down and coming up and maybe take a step to change over your legs. Take a step to change over your legs. Up and down and up and down and find the path of least resistance. Up and down. <laughs> on to the next exercise, we go down on the floor onto our backs. Next exercise, on your back, come to lie on your back with your legs extended and your arms extended next to your torso. Just rest there for a couple of seconds and then squeeze both buttocks. So you squeeze your glutes, your glutes muscle and because you squeeze them they harden up and the pelvis lifts up a little bit and then let go again and again. Squeeze both buttocks, squeeze them as hard as possible and then let go again and then a couple of times fast. Squeeze and let go, squeeze and let go, squeeze and let go, squeeze and let go, squeeze and let go. And now slowly, squeeze them slowly, slowly, slowly so your pelvis rises up very slowly and Relax them slowly, 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 bit by bit. This is full control of the buttocks contraction. Again, squeeze them slowly, they rise up slowly and then let go bit by bit gradually. Eccentric, let the buttock flatten down to the floor one last time. Squeeze slowly and let go slowly. All right, now only the right buttocks. Squeeze only the right buttock fast a couple of times, on and off and on and off. And now the left buttocks, left buttocks, on and off and on and off. And now change between the right one and the left one. Right one, left one, right one, left one, right one, left one, right one, left one, right one, left one. Right one, left one. And keep going. So make them both strong, equally strong, right and left equally strong. And very good control. All right, then. On to the next exercise. Keep your right leg extended and stand your left foot on the floor. And now again, squeeze the buttocks on your left side, which will make your pelvis lift up, your pelvis turn, but your left side, the left hip joint extends. So you come up because you squeeze your left buttocks and keep this tension throughout the whole body and then relax back down again. Again, you start by squeezing your left buttock so your left hip joint extends, you lift up, you have a bridge from your left foot to your right shoulder and then slowly, slowly back down again until you're lying in the start position. And again, one last time, squeeze your left buttock, drive your left knee away from you. So you come into this 
a very asymmetric bridge from your left foot to your right shoulder and back down again then change over your legs extend your left leg stand your right foot and start to squeeze your right buttock so you have to so you start to form a bridge from your right foot to your left shoulder and back down again. You squeeze your right buttock a second time so your right hip joint extends and you have this bridge from one side to the other and back down again and one last time. Squeeze your right buttock, drive your right knee away from you and hold it, hold it, hold it and come back down again. Now change to have both of your feet standing and squeeze both buttocks so your pelvis rises up rises up you squeeze as hard as you can you have a bridge from your feet to your shoulders and back down again and one more time and if you like you can come up to the back of your head like a wrestler squeeze both buttocks squeeze both buttocks come up into a bridge and back down again and a last time start to squeeze both buttocks extend your hip joints and come into the bridge hold hold and let go and on to the next exercise come to stand onto your knees you're kneeling on both knees symmetrically look straight ahead and then start to squeeze your left buttock so you squeeze your left buttock which will make your pelvis turn to the right and with your right hand start to look to your right foot and reach for your right foot which is flat on the floor and let go again again squeeze your left buttock which will extend and drive your left hip forward and you turn and touch with your right hand to your right heel and come back into a symmetrical start position again and one last time squeeze your left buttock turn to hold your right heel and back again now squeeze your right buttock which will extend your right hip joint drive your right hip forward which will turn your hip to the left and with your left hand touch your left heel and back again one more time extend your right hip joint by squeezing your right buttock turn touch with your left hand to your left heel and back again one last time squeeze your right buttock and turn hold hold squeeze squeeze come back now squeeze both buttocks to drive your hip forward and lean a little bit backwards and again let go so squeeze both buttocks stand your feet so maybe you can reach with both hands for both heels but your focus is on squeezing your buttocks on driving your hip forward on extending your entire front side so the movement is not just in your lower back but actually it's like you're forming a bow with your <laughs> entire front side when you come forwards and let go and one last time easy squeeze both buttocks bring your heels together hold your heels touch to your heels and let go and on to the next exercise <laughs> all right so stand shoulder width apart have your feet open a little bit duck footed and start by squatting down drive your knees forward squat down and then Drive your knees backwards to bring your buttocks backwards and up again. So we're doing a round. You squat forwards, bring your knees forwards and your buttocks backwards to come back up again. Again, one more round. You squat down, bring your knees forwards as far as possible. Lower yourself almost like into a squat, but then drive your butt backwards and <laughs> make the full round. So let's do three rounds quickly. One, two, three, and three more. Roundhouse squats. One, two, three. And then bring your weight more to your right leg and with your weight on your right leg. Three more rounds. Yes, going through those snows down the hill and then bring your weight onto your left leg and three more rounds. Squat down forwards, come back up backwards. Two, three, let's turn that around. So let's go backwards first. 
foot down and come up forwards. Go backwards down and come up forwards. So now we're in a music video and let your feet adjust to that movement. Place your feet wherever they need to go. All right, and that's for the roundhouse squats. On to the next exercise. Nordic curl, so lean forwards on your chair to help you have your feet underneath something, whatever that's <laughs> heavier than you. And then uh, let go and drive your hip forwards to the best of your ability and back again. So <laughs> leaning on the chair and then let go of the chair. You hover with your hands above the chair and you drive your hips forwards. <laughs> To really challenge your hamstrings <laughs> and come back again. So one more time. We're going to do this five times. Three. You drive your pelvis forward and backwards. <laughs> forwards. Oh, this is hard. Forwards and backwards. All right. Let's change this setup a little bit to a bow down. Go down, have your feet secure under your couch or your Nordic curls board that's custom crafted just for this purpose. And then come up from your bow down into erect <laughs> position. And then the smooth criminal back down again to your bow down. We do this five times. Two, three, Four. Oh, have mercy, master. Five. <laughs> oh, this is so hard. All right, on to the next exercise. Grab a pillow, hold it behind you, and then let's do those explosive heel kicks backwards against the pillow. So with your right foot, five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then with the left foot, one, Two, three, four, five, and again with the right foot. One, two, three, four, five, against the resistance of the pillow and with the left foot. One, two, three, four, five, and then right, left, 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 right. <laughs> and then let's hold it with the right foot. Press against the pillow, press your foot against the pillow to challenge those hamstrings. Really good, and then let go, and then the left one. Challenge the hamstrings. Let's have a really sore leg tomorrow. Yes, squeeze, 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 and let go. Wow, all right. Next exercise, a couple of deep triceps push-ups. So have something, two chairs, two couches, two <laughs> stacks of books where you can safely lean on with your hands and then lower yourself like a tiger in the jungle, like a leopard. So your spine sinks in between your shoulder blades and then push up to extend your arms. So we're going to do 10. Mm, three sets of three plus one. So let's do three. One, two, uh, three. You might want to assist with your legs. Let's do another three. So go down, let your spine sink in between your shoulders and then up one and down, up two and down, up three and down. And then a last one. Maybe with the legs in the other direction, frontwards. Let your spine sink in between your shoulder blades and up one, up two, up three. There we go. Last exercise, we're going to do three jumps, three small reaching and jumping with the right hand. So to the best of your ability, maybe it's just like one, two, three, and well, hello, one, two, three, or jump up, one, two, three,
three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and we ate this workout. Congratulations, see you next time.